Hey guys, it's Tamika Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, I do appreciate it. I'm almost at 500 subbies. I am I'm so excited. So if you have not done so, please hit that little subscribe button down below. I would love for you to come along on this whole YouTube journey of mine. In today's video, we are going to talk about bags that I take with me on vacation. Um, me and my husband, our anniversary is coming up. So we are in the midst of preparing to go on our trip. And so I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys what bags I am taking with me. Um, I do have favorites that I like to take on vacations, mostly small bags. Um, it's just my preference, but some of these bags are brand new, never used before. So it'll be my first time using them. And then some are like oldies but goodies because I take them with me every time I go to like a destination. I will travel with my Neverfull MM and I usually stuff it with bags and then any other bags that don't fit I put on my carry-on luggage. I hope you stick around and that you enjoy. So the first bag that I'm taking with me is the beautiful multi-pochette and this is from the um, By the Pool collection. I believe I got this about two years ago. Um, the color is called Brum, but it's basically like a grayish, brownish um, ombre into like this peachy color, but I absolutely uh, love this. So this bag, um, was first released in um, traditional monogram and it came with a pink or a khaki strap and the khaki was really like a dark green color but it was called khaki um, which I, I never understood but uh, I opted not to go with that because it was just so popular um, I don't know sometimes I don't like what's popular I like things that are more limited edition so um, the monogram is still available and there has been a uh, multi pochette made in different um, colorways for the different collections that have been released over the years. But if you're interested, definitely the monogram and I'll put a, a photo up on the screen of how the monogram looks. It is definitely still available. This one you would have to buy off the pre-love market like Fashion Foul, Rebag. Um, There's several, you know, companies that sell um, that resell, you know, items or what have you. So basically this purse comes with three little um, bags. So there's this coin pouch and on the front, it has like the, the very big uh, flower. And then on the back, it has uh, LV. I hope you can see that. And then there is the smaller pouch and then the bigger pouch. And then it comes with this gold chain. And um, as far as a strap, it has this cream strap and it says uh, Louis Vuitton. It's like um, embossed throughout the strap. And the little coin purse attaches to the front. So let me put this all together and I'll show you what it looks like. I have taken this um, bag on several trips before. So I will insert a photo um, of the last time I took it on a trip. I believe it was my birthday. We went to uh, Santorini. So I'll, um, I'll include some photos so you could see um, like mod shots. But this is basically how it looks. I absolutely love this. Um, this bag. I like that it has the different compartments so you can decide what you want to put where. So like for instance, I'll put my AirPods in here, you know, as we're traveling. The front pouch, I might put like a little card holder or debit card, hotel key. The back um, pochette, it, it's big enough to hold, um, it's definitely big enough to hold a bigger size um, card holder and your, um, your phone. So, I mean, the bag definitely can hold multiple things to where it would be, you know, pretty functional. The only downside I would say to this bag is that it does have Vachetta on it, but this is, um, treated Vachetta, but still you can't really take it out in the rain. Um, or you fear, or, you know, that would be the possibility of getting like rain spots or watermarks on it. But besides that, it's coated canvas um, and just the little bits of Vachetta. So there's Vachetta on the little um, key rings. There's uh, Vachetta holding up 
the little pouch and then um, there's the shadow on the front tabs. And then this particular purse, I don't know where it was made at. Let me see. This one was made in France. Oh, the inside is like, it's like a beige color with lines. And this is just um, textile fabric. Gosh, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't remember uh, the name, but both of these have that same um, color uh, fabric on the inside. And then um, the little pouch has, um, it's coated canvas on the inside. So this is actually wipeable. But yeah, so I, I absolutely, I love this purse when traveling. I think it's a very fun color, especially when you're going somewhere like more tropical. I just, I think this is a, a very good bag option. So this will be um, one of the first bags that I take. Okay, the next bag I plan on taking with me is this beautiful Papillon trunk. And as you can see, it's kind of like, it, it's reminiscent of a trunk, um, which is how it got its name. Um, on the side, the detail is just so absolutely beautiful. It has the LVs embossed. Um, there's, you know, this gold detail going around. On the sides, it's just circular, but I, I absolutely, I love this bag <laughs> so much. Um, I tend to definitely carry this whenever we are traveling. I think it just complements a lot of, um, it, it complements a lot of looks. Um, you can wear it with like denim, you can wear it with cream. I mean, it just, it complements a lot of things, um, especially light colors that you would wear like on a vacation if it's somewhere tropical, right? So there is this little S-lock closure and you open it up and it has microfiber lining. It's like a uh, brownish color microfiber lining. And then the purse itself is uh, canvas coated, right? But then the strap has brown leather on one side and then the regular um, Louis Vuitton monogram on the other side. And then throughout the strap, there's little hints of the brown leather um, holding down the strap. Um, both straps, right? So it has the crossbody strap and then it has this where you can carry it more so like a top handle. Um, you could actually put it over your shoulder as well. It would just sit kind of close to your armpit though, but <laughs> I don't really carry it that way. I usually carry it top handle if I'm not carrying the crossbody strap. But um, both of these straps are removable. So they just unlatch here off of this uh, D-ring. And the, the main strap is also adjustable. So it's definitely tall girl friendly. Um, I have no problem um, wearing this purse crossbody and I am um, 5'8". So I definitely, this is one of my favorite bags to travel with. I just, I think it's so cute. It's so unique. Um, definitely like top 10 of my favorite bags in um, my collection. So this will be the second bag I take and this is the LV Papillon trunk. The third bag I'll be taking, and if you haven't noticed, I like, I have a theme, I like fun bags <laughs> when I'm traveling, but the next one is this um, Felici and this was from the Game On collection a couple of years ago. Um, this and the multi pochette, neither one of these are still available through Louis Vuitton, but because they were limited edition collections, you would be able to find um, both of these on like a pre-love site, like Fashion File or, or um, a site like that. But the Felici itself is still sold by um, Louis Vuitton, just not in this particular colorway. So the Game On collection had like this really vibrant blue, um, reddish, um, orangish, um, and then there was like a little hints of pink. But when I saw this Felici, I absolutely loved it. It does come with a very um, long gold strap, so um, I do often carry it crossbody. And um, the Felici also comes with two inserts. So let me show you those. One is for cards and it has eight slots and it just says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then it has this little, um, I don't know, pouch. It does zip. So sometimes um, I will just carry this little pouch. My phone doesn't fit. Um, I, I wanna say it makes it hard to close. Let me, yeah, it doesn't fit. It makes it very hard to close. But um, like the last time I carried this, I think we were at a football game. So 
you know, there are bag size limitations when you're going to some uh, sporting events. So I carry just this and I have like um, the hotel key, um, some cash, ID, debit card, those types of things. And it worked just fine. And I just, you know, carried it in my hand. But I absolutely love this, especially when I'm wearing all black um, as a pop of color. I just think that these colors are so much fun. Um, this is probably one of my smallest bags. And I say that because after you put the two inserts in, there's not much room left. You can fit a phone, but that's about it. So it's either you forego um, carrying both inserts with the phone, or you can just do like your phone and maybe like a lip gloss, possibly keys, depending on how bulky they are. You could just put some cards in this back slot because there is a back slot back here. But yeah, I, I love this purse. This one was made in, let's see, Italy. But so this is the game on Felici and this will be the third bag that I carry with me. Next, I'm going to take my paint can bag. I have not used this yet, so I'm super excited to use this. I did pick up um, some, I, um, some items that would coordinate with this purse so that I could carry it while we're gone. But I did do a full review of this bag, so I'll link it somewhere above, but go back and check out that video. But anyways, this was one of uh, Virgil Abloh's last um, creations, and I just absolutely think it is the coolest thing ever. It truly looks like a paint can, but it is a purse. Um, I do keep it stuffed. This little stuffing came um, with the bag from Louis Vuitton. It has a white crossbody strap and then the inside is um green microfiber and then on the bag itself I mean it just has like traditional things you would find on a paint can like exterior paint um for wood base only it's just super cool and I just love how vibrant this green is so I will be carrying this I'll probably take it as a top handle I'm not sure I'm gonna use this white strap haven't decided yet. It just depends um, once I get dressed how I'm feeling, but I am really <laughs> excited um, to use this first because like I said, I haven't used it yet. I got it earlier um, last year. So um, I had my baby and wasn't really out and about like that. And then summer ended and it just wasn't something I wanted to carry like in the fall and winter um, because the weather where I live is pretty bad. Um, it rains a lot. So um, I definitely was waiting to use this to either spring, summer, excuse me. Um, I was waiting to use this either like spring, summer or um, on some type of vacation. So I'm really happy to use this. Last bag I'll be taking with me is one of my most recent purchases. And this is the Louis Vuitton um, soft trunk. And I did a review on this bag as well. I'll link it somewhere above, but I have not carried her yet. I still haven't even pulled off the stickers as you can see, but this purse is just absolutely stunning. Um, I actually was super excited about this release because I just thought this purse was just, I don't know, magnificent. Uh, <laughs> I love anything trunk, as you can see with the Papillon soft trunk. I just like the trunk design. Um, I just think it looks super cool. But yeah, this will be my, um, the last purse that I'm taking with me. And it has, you know, all of this gold, but um, I, I think it'll wear pretty good. I, I'm not too concerned. It has a um, zip closure and a, S, a mini S lock right here. I won't bore you with the details again because I did, like I said, make a full um, review video. So go back and check that out. But yeah, this will be um, <laughs> the last baby that I take. More than likely, I'm going to carry it top handle whenever I do carry it while I'm out and about. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm excited to use this. I hope you have enjoyed hearing about the bags I plan on taking with me on vacation. Wondering if you have any of these lovely babies, and if you do, I would love to hear your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. Also, please hit that little like button if you've enjoyed this content, and feel free to share my videos with your friends. Until next time, be safe.